Zoomies video. Uh, right now I'm welding up the tubes. And uh, what I've got set up here is a dual regulator. So I've got um, ar argon going into one end of the tube here. And then I've got this plugged off on the other end with just a little hole in the middle just to kind of let the argon escape. Uh, when I go to weld the flanges on, I drill the little hole in the end of the flange there to let the, the uh, argon escape. I want to fill the tube with argon so that the inside is shielded and uh, you don't get all that gray, crusty crap on the inside. The, actually, the inside of the, the tube should look just as nice and clean as the outside uh, after you've welded it with the argon on the inside, uh, just getting rid of the air. So I've got that set at uh, about 10 CFH. This is for the, uh, the purge here. And then uh, the welder I have, I'm using, uh, it's a Miller Synchro Wave, I think. I don't know, can't remember what kind it is. It's pretty, had it for quite a while. And then I got the, uh, the water cooler here that cools the torch. Torch gets a little hot after a little while. Especially with aluminum, you have to have that. And uh, so when it's done, I've got two tubes welded here already. It's kind of what it looks like. You get a nice color on the weld. Um, I use a pretty big cup on my tink torch. It's a clear cup. Um, I got it from the Wellmonger site, but it didn't fit perfectly, so I had to tape it on here so I don't get any leaks so uh, I'll just carry on here with finishing up welding this and then I'll get the flange bolted up to the plate there and then uh, tack them all on and weld them together and then I got the braces and you know if you look at the other side here it's got a brace welded underneath there and then it's got these caps, cap off the tubing here, and then they're welded around the top. Just I put the welder on pulse, and it just kind of pulse all the way around. And then everything is welded on the bottom, and it makes a nice clean look on top. And then I still got a, the EGT bungs have to go in the in the other header. So there's still quite a bit left to do right now. Just welding up the tubing. I got. One's still sitting on there, and I've marked them so that I know where they go back on. Also, before I weld, I uh, clean the tube with some brake clean and a rag, and then I just take some Scotch Brite, just regular red Scotch Brite, clean up the whole area that I'm going to be welding, and then I take a rag and I wipe it all off again to get rid of any dust or anything that's left over there. So uh, I'll carry on.